Hi everyone and welcome to Alt VR. In this video we're going to take a look at some 3D printed accessories that you can 3D print to pimp up your uh, yeah your VR setup. So if you see here I've got some already printed out uh, and in the course of this video I'm going to use <laughs> this mounting tape to just mount it all up and uh, see how it works. So I can already tell you that this little thing uh, it will have to be a surprise. It's my favorite. Uh, it's really revolutionized. Such a little thing like this. Um, yeah, how my VR experience is. But for now, let's mount this up and we'll see how it all works. So, while my setup looks relatively clean on the desktop here, I'm afraid I have to show you what it looks underneath. Ooh. So, yep, we have a hot mess of wires here. And I'm not really going to fix it, uh, except for one thing, the thing in the center here, the Vive Link box, we're going to get that properly mounted up so that it stays secure. Alright, so here we go, you can see that the Link box is mounted up, although I have to admit this was maybe kind of useless because I used double mounting tape instead of screws to mount this thing and then I wouldn't really have needed uh, the bracket. <laughs> so maybe just ignore that first one. These however are interesting. Uh, this is for mounting the uh, Vive full body tracking or the Vive trackers and once you have three of these and they're just lying around uh, on your desk it get, can get kind of messy. So these are nice too. Uh, I've also added a link in the description to Thingiverse for one of these if you would like to uh, mount some for your own wife trackers. For now, let's go over to the next thing which increases the sound quality of the Vive Pro. Alright, so what we're going to do here is fix this onto the VR headsets. So normally these are kind of wobbly, right? And to get the bass you need to really get them close to your ears. So if you ever use the Vive Pro and just try pushing the speakers towards the head, the sound is actually very good. And that's what this thing does for you. So normally you can move it about but if you thread this on here, very simply like this, you can't do that because it's holding it back right here. So yeah, I mean this works super well. Uh, I can't believe it's not included or more common to use. Uh, I can't show you, <laughs> of course, uh, but trust me, this is really, really great accessory. So if you do that, just print out one for each ear, of course. Uh, and um, yeah, I think you'll really, really enjoy uh, the sound quality of the Vive Pro. Alright, so here we got something new on the wall. We have three Vive trackers or Steam VR trackers. And what's so nice is that they're charging. <laughs> Battery life is always uh, an issue, of course. So I can just pull this out. And you can see here that there is uh, a magnetic charging thing, which I've also placed on the bottom here. So all I need to do when I want to charge it is just to put it like this, and it's charging. And the magnet keeps it in place in addition to uh, the actual mount that you can uh, see underneath there. So this is really nice. I'm really going to enjoy this. Alright, so in addition to uh, the Vive trackers, I also put up a similar setup for my Xbox controller. Not really VR related, but we also have the Vive Ones mounted to the wall here. Unfortunately for the Vive Ones, I don't have any charging yet because I'll have to drill some holes in the bottom here. But we'll see if I do that um, after a while. But anyways, I'm still uh, very happy with uh, this setup here and uh, yeah, it's nice to have it all in one place. Alright, so the final step of uh, the setup here, we got a VR cable management thing. I think the more regular word for this is a VR ceiling mount though, which keeps uh, the weight of the VR cable off your back. So this might actually be the best uh, idea in this video, but you don't really need the 3D print stuff to use this. I mean, it comes on its own, but from what I've read researching up to this, this is basically uh, an essential part of such a setup, um, which keeps your cable from yeah, being destroyed in the process. I'll show you why later. So I'm just going to open this. I bought this off eBay. It was really cheap, but it took three months <laughs> to get there. And uh, yeah, uh, this is hard to do with one hand. 
so I'm just going to rig it up and show you how it works later. Uh, I already got some hooks in the cave or in the um, ceiling from my earlier green screen days in the start of this YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, let's see what the essential role these little things are playing here. All right, so to end this video, I'm going to show you the VR ceiling mount with this 3D printed cable thing. And we have it here. So you can see I have my Vive Pro 2 here and it goes up here and then here and then here. And this is where it is actually coming out from the computer. So the thing here is that, we, I mean, we have different uh, elements. So this is a part of uh, the set that I bought online. And this makes it so that you can pull this. So if I'm going in a certain direction, it will follow me. And this is linked to a, yeah, this thing. I don't know what it's called in English. And this again goes to the 3D printed accessory. So you can see that this is uh, holding the cable for me and I've got some, uh, yeah, I'm struggling again with the English name for this, but some strips, we call it in Norwegian. It's probably the same <laughs> in English. And this keeps the cable, um, yeah, secure in its place. So this can be pulled down and if I'm over here, will be pulled down from over here and the same from this side. So I'm going to show you how this uh, moves when I move. But the crucial point here, uh, as I understand it, is that if this cable is being twisted round and round, right? Because often in VR, you turn this way, you turn that way, then this won't be sort of, uh, it, it stops here because this is the final end of this thing. And that means that I can use only this small part of the cable um, to sort of fix this in retrospect. Otherwise, if we fix this thing, we would have to unplug it. And um, yeah, basically every um, twist of the cable, as you probably know, if you own a VR head mounted display, you have to uh, use some time in order for the cable not to just be totally twisted, which in the end could result in it breaking. So in the end, this is how it looks, which to be honest, isn't that ideal if you're going to look at the television here and see this giant monstrosity hanging overhead. Um, what is also very easy about this is the fact that I can at any time when I'm using the VR headset, or not, and of course, depending on your setup, I can just unhook this. So I chose to use these, which uh, use a tape to hang this onto your ceiling instead of uh, these ones that I already dis discussed earlier. And I can just very simply unplug everything and keep this as it is with the cable and I have, yeah, a free view towards my actual TV. Now, regarding tape, there's one thing I should mention uh, also before I close this video, and that's the point of, I mean, you remember we mounted three of these earlier, and here we see a uh, sinner for sure. This little tape thing, you can see that I mounted it on top of a tape from earlier, and now my vibe tracker is lying right here. Okay, I can't get my lens there. There we go. So be, yeah, be careful to um, check what weight your tape supports. Be careful to mount it properly. All my other devices have been fine so far, so I wouldn't worry too much. But of course, do this at your own responsibility because, yeah, this can get really bad. And another point I'll mention, the uh, awkward sounds you're hearing from my PC is from my Discord. You can find the invite link in the description if you want to join to meet like-minded individuals. 
So as the final clip of this video, I'll be showing you how uh, the ceiling mount is actually looking and behaving while I'm using it. All right, so let's check out how this works. Uh, something that I should mention, this would be more effective if I had a larger play space, because then each of these extenders uh, yeah, would have been utilized and it would have been possible to keep the sort of wireless feeling of not feeling the cable tugging you down due to gravity um, in, a, in a much wider area. But it's still nice uh, for me in this small uh, of a space. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it looks. Just one last thing. Um, if you are interested in other VR stuff, um, you might want to pay attention to this YouTube channel. We're going to put out an in-depth uh, review of the Vive Flow, for instance which is a really interesting uh, VR headset. We're also going to be taking a look at the Vive Focus 3, which again is a super fascinating VR headset. So that's just another teaser for the channel. Let's see how this Vive ceiling mount looks. So now immediately when I put it on, I can't notice the cable at all. I don't feel it pulling here because it's going straight up to this. So if I'm moving in this direction, I hope that you can see this on the camera, it follows and at this point I'm able to feel the resistance, maybe slightly, from the actual cable system that's going around here. But this can basically hold my cable up no matter where I can walk across the room. And again, as I said, this isn't really a very big play space. So I don't get the full benefit of this. Uh, but this is how it would work. This is how it works in a, um, yeah, a larger play space and a smaller one. So to conclude, I think that this is a really nice setup for those of you who aren't really comfortable um, buying the extended, yeah, um, wireless system that HTC has. I know that I'm not and especially because I have to sacrifice some clarity uh, in terms of um, the Vive Pro 2 resolution and, um, and refresh rate. So that was it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you do have some other interesting things that you can 3D print for your uh, VR setup then be sure to comment it in the link below. Thank you.